Late last year, DJI stunned the video world with the launch of the Ronin 4D cinema camera system. It seemed to come from the future with technology that made other cameras look quaint. At $7,200, it's not exactly affordable for most people, but the wild feature set should excite any tech lover. That includes a LiDAR focus system that works in the dark, a clever Z-axis gimbal, and a full-frame sensor that delivers stunningly good raw 6K video. It's not without downsides like the weight and excessive rolling shutter, but there's nothing else out there that can rival its tech and design. DJI is mostly known for drones, but is it actually the most innovative camera company in the world? Let's get into it. The Ronin 4D is a complex system, but I'll run through the design as quickly as possible. We'll start with the camera, which can be completely detached from the body. I'm testing the 6K version, but DJI plans to release an 8K model later on. It has a full-frame sensor and lets you choose between DJI's own DL mount, a Sony E mount, and a Leica M mount, with more planned for later. There are three native DJI lenses, including 24, 35, and 50 mm f2.8 models. They all weigh about 180 grams and cost $1,300, which is pretty expensive for f2.8 prime lenses. As with most electronic gimbals, you can't use big lenses. That's not a huge limitation, as it would be pretty unusual to fly a telephoto on a gimbal. You even get AF with manual lenses via DJI's optional focus module. Finally, it has an incredible nine ND filter levels for fine exposure control in bright light. The gimbal has three axes of movement with quick release locks for easy balancing. The standout feature though is the Z arm that gives it the 4D name. It uses multiple motion sensors that help smooth out walking, running, or any other jarring vertical movements. On the right side of the main body are HDMI, timecode, and DC power ports. On the left, you have switches to control power, recording, the gimbal, and Z-axis, along with a multi-dial that controls focus by default. For storage, you can use either a CF Express card, external SSD via USB-C, or DJI's Pro SSD. Unfortunately, you can only record to one of those at a time. The Pro SSD module is optional, but required for higher video frame rates. The Ronin 4D has multiple removable modules, starting with the strong top handle. It features a rocker switch to adjust the gimbal and a button to put it into sport mode for quick movements. Attached to the handle via a nice friction mount is the 5.5 inch 1000 nit display that's the primary way to change settings. It has a super logical menu system similar to the one on Blackmagic's cameras along with 14 manual buttons and a dial. Meanwhile, the video transmitter relays video to a 7-inch optional 1500-nit remote monitor. That lets you not only view, but control the Ronin 4D from up to 20,000 feet away. At back is the battery plate that supports DJI's TB50 batteries that deliver 1-2 to two hours on a charge, depending on operation. Camera settings like f-stop and shutter speed are found along the top and bottom of the display. Power, media, gimbal, and other controls are on the left. Settings can be changed using either the touch display or buttons and dial. Next up are the camera grips. Both attach via a quick release lever and you can easily change the angle with another clever lever. The left grip has a joystick to control the gimbal along with buttons for focus and gimbal tracking. An exposure button brings up the waveform, zebra and other tools. The trigger button locks the gimbal and centers it with a double press. The right handle has a large knob that's primarily used for focus, but also changes camera settings when you hit the mode button. Doing that ingeniously changes the operation from smooth to clicky. It also has a trigger that locks the Z arm and turns it off with a double click. Finally, the LiDAR focus system is attached above the lens and connected via a locking USB cable. With supported lenses, you get both autofocus and tracking. More on that shortly. If you're thinking that using the Ronin 4D sounds complicated, you're not entirely wrong. However, it's pretty easy to pick up basic operation and then gradually learn the more granular controls. Once it's balanced with your lens of choice, simply power up the camera and engage the gimbal. You can then turn on the 4D handle if required. 
You'll want to make sure to balance that as well for smooth operation, but that's easily done via an on-screen guide. The gimbal can be locked from panning and tilting or smoothly follow camera movement. In follow mode, you can set it to pan only, pan and tilt, or pan, tilt and roll. As for the Z-Arm, there are two modes controlled by a dedicated button. Lock keeps the sensor head from moving up or down, while Follow allows it to smoothly follow your movements. One of the coolest features is Active Track Pro that lets you lock onto a subject and have the gimbal track it and maintain autofocus. It automatically detects faces, or you can manually track subjects by drawing a box. On the whole, the Ronin 4D delivers smoother footage than any comparable product, even over difficult terrain. The biggest downside is that it's heavy and the configuration can make it hard on the back. The LiDAR focus system is equally impressive. It works at a distance of around 33 feet by generating a real-time 3D point cloud. You can choose between either manual focus, autofocus, or assisted manual focus. AMF uses autofocus, but also moves the manual focus dial. That way you can take control just by grabbing the wheel and give control back by releasing it. There are three focus areas or regions of interest as DJI calls them. The first is spot focus, the second is a wide box, and the third is smart that detects faces or lets you draw a box to track objects. The biggest drawback compared to phase or contrast detect AF is that it focuses on the front of a scene, so someone's nose might be in focus but not their eyes. Autofocus is even supported on manual focus lenses, but it is a bigger challenge. You may need to calibrate them over multiple distances for the best results. If you'd rather focus manually, DJI has plenty of tools for that too, like focus peaking. But the best one is the LiDAR focus waveform that shows an object's shape and distance. After some practice, it's extremely effective. Finally, let's look at the video specs and quality. You can record in ProRes RAW, ProRes HQ, and H.264 10-bit codecs. The ProRes options deliver incredible quality, but gobble up storage pretty quickly. The H.264 option is more efficient, but not very edit friendly, so it would be nice to have something in between those. You can record up to 6K at 48 frames per second or 4K at 96 frames per second using the full width of the sensor in all codecs. For anything beyond that, up to 60p at 6K or 120 frames per second at 4K, it will do a Super 35 crop. The Ronin 4D's 24.1 megapixel sensor has dual native ISOs at 800 and 5000 with acclaimed 14 stops of dynamic range. Image quality is right up there with any other full frame mirrorless camera I've tested lately. In RAW mode with log settings enabled, it delivers crisp, color accurate video that's easy to adjust in post. It's not quite as good in low light as recent mirrorless cameras, but video is usable up to around ISO 6400 or ISO 12800 if you're careful with exposure. Beyond that, noise can get excessive, particularly with reds and blues. The biggest drawback with the camera is rolling shutter. While it's not worse than models with similar sensors like Panasonic's S1, it's excessive for a camera that's designed for movement. In sum, the Ronin 4D is one impressive piece of technology. DJI has created a new product class and invented technology like LiDAR powered active tracking and assisted manual focus. At the same time, the camera delivers very high quality footage. So is DJI the most innovative camera company right now? Well, I can't think of anything else that's even close to the Ronin 40's level of innovation that has no doubt caught the attention of major camera makers. If it can keep that up, DJI will make the camera world a lot more interesting over the next few years. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more on technology, check out Engadget.com.